today we are going to be learning how to multiply a two-digit number by using an area model. Let's start by learning how to use an area model to solve the problem 25 times 6. Well, to use an area model, we start by drawing a box. And because we have a two-digit number, 25, we will have two parts to our box. Now the first step is to split up the number 25 into pieces so that it is easier to multiply. We can first look at this 2, which I know represents two tens, and therefore it has a value of 20. Next we can look at this 5, which represents five ones, or just a value of 5. Now we're multiplying all of this by 6, so we will put the 6 on the side of the area model. Now we can begin multiplying. We will start with this first box on the left, where we will be multiplying 20 times 6. To multiply 20 times 6, we can just ignore the zero and multiply 2 times 6. Well, I know 2 times 6 equals 12, and then we just add in that one zero that we ignored. So 20 times 6 equals 120. In this other section of our area model, we need to multiply 5 times 6. Well, we know 5 times 6 equals 30. Now that we've solved each piece of our area model, all we need to do is add the two pieces together. We could add 120 plus 30. When we solve this, 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 3 is 5, and just this 1 is 1. So the answer to our problem 25 times 6 is 150. Let's do one of these together now. We're going to use an area model to multiply 34 times 6. Again, this area model will start with a box that will separate into two pieces because we're multiplying by a two-digit number. Now I need to split up 34. How should I split up 34? Well, I will first look at the 3, which we know is 3 tens. What is the value of 3 tens? 3 tens has a value of 30. Then we can look at this 4, which is just 4 ones, or a value of 4. Now I'm multiplying all of this by 6, so I will just put the 6 on the side of the area model. Now in this first box on the left, what two numbers am I multiplying? In this box, I'm multiplying 30 times 6. What does 30 times 6 equal? Well, if you ignore the 0 in 30, you can multiply 3 times 6 to get 18. Then you just add in that one zero you left out, so 30 times 6 equals 180. Next, what should we multiply in this box on the right? Well, in this box, we're multiplying 4 times 6. What does 4 times 6 equal? Well, 4 times 6 is a multiplication fact you should know. 4 times 6 is 24. Now that I've finished multiplying both parts of my area model, what do I need to do to find my answer? Well, now that you have your pieces, you need to add them together. So we will add 180 plus 24. What does 180 plus 24 equal? Well, we can do 0 plus 4 equals 4, 8 plus 2 equals 10, which we can write by regrouping the 1 and holding the 0 down below, and then 1 plus 1 equals 2. So 34 times 6 equals 204. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Use an area model to figure out what 53 times 7 equals. To start this problem, you should have taken your area model and separated the number 53 into 5 tens, or a value of 50, and 3 ones, or a value of 3. And this was all being multiplied by 7. In the first box, we were going to multiply 50 times 7. To solve this, you just ignore the zero and multiply five times seven. That gives you 35. From there, you can just add the zero. 50 times seven is 350. In the second box, we're multiplying three times seven. Well, three times seven is 21. Next, you needed to add together 350 plus 21. When you do this, zero plus one is one, five plus two is seven, and three plus nothing is just three. So 53 times 7 equals 371. Now here's your last problem for this video. Use an area model to solve 42 times 8. Well, on your area model, you can break up 42 into 4 tens, or a value of 40, and 2 ones, or a value of 2. Then you multiply each of these pieces by 8. In the first box, you multiply 40 times 8 by solving 4 times 8, which is 32, and then adding a 0 to get that 40 times 8 is 320. In your next box, you multiply 2 times 8, which you know as a multiplication fact, is 16. Now you add 320 plus 16. 
Well, zero plus six is six. Two plus one is three. And three plus nothing is three. So 42 times eight is 336. From today, remember, when you're using an area model, break up your numbers into each place value. Then multiply each piece one at a time. Finally, just add together all the pieces you have to find your answer.